knowing the significance of waterways, you know, these are the ancient pathways for people to travel along. They're the ancient trade routes, they're the defining lines of boundaries and borders and clan groups and family groups. The stories that tie into the, the landscape around travelling to children, to adults and learning the environment and how we're respecting the environment and how it's all tied in to the waterways and everything you do that flows into there and without water you haven't got anything. You need heat and sun but you need water. The foundation of Aboriginal law and knowledge We've done a series of workshops working with Grade 11s at Heathfield High School Visual Arts class and we've been looking into local maps of the area and the students are doing some map drawings or drawing and painting into the map. I use a lot of maps in my practice and we've been looking at how we can connect ideas to do with water or nature or environment and, and the drawing works. And we've also been using pyrography, so wood burning toolkits uh, onto kangaroo skin leather and we've done a collaborative work where we've sewed all the roo skins together and it's a larger work called waterway mapping and the students have burnt their designs into that piece. the students and the schools learning through uh, impressionism their own artwork being learning about the stories and then applying it through their own eyes onto um, canvas and skins these are things you've got to experience the spiritual learning is about knowing about the past the Aboriginal people the history and then being able to articulate it and uh, sharing that knowledge with their schools and their parents you think these were artists that have been doing it for decades and they're artists that have been doing it for weeks. Quite amazing. Shows the heartfelt interest in, in doing something so accurately, so carefully and putting themselves into it. Shows the interest in what we're doing around the waterways and um, the environment. Um, so when the Waterlines project came up and people put their hand up, students put their hand up to participate in it, um, that's more important than people having to learn things. They wanted to. My work focused on the connections between cultures and how cultures can sometimes get lost. Because water lines, while they connect all cultures through the oceans and the rivers, sometimes when cultures cross over, you can lose parts of them or cultures can be erased. You'll see the map shows through the girl's skin a bit and through the hair. Her whole being is almost transparent, but very lightly, just to show like how cultures can fade through connection and crossing of cultures. I was looking at um, the whaling history in Victor Harbour and how whales were a almost a mysterious animal. I was exploring themes of existence along because uh, water feeds life and so I was thinking huh existence and if if is there some kind of design to it all if, if there's is it meant to be this way or is it all chance? Working with Laura was really cool because Usually we study artists that are older and you can't talk to them, but having someone physically in the class whose work you've looked at and being able to talk to them about their ideas and concepts was really, really good. So not only was that authentic experience with the artist Laura being in the art studios, but also to sort of consolidate that learning by having their own exhibition. The exhibition was held over several weeks in the Hutt Community Centre. We held a, a launch where we invited community to come along and view the artworks of Laura and also of the students at Heathfield High School. Ivan also did a, a smoking ceremony as well which welcomed the uh, students' artwork into the area. What a great display. Uh, and a great example of community work with schools, parents, teachers, 
young people, students, you know, amazing combination to produce amazing artwork. So for the students to have that connection to where they live and to link it back to the, the first depots is an incredible privilege, I think. That opportunity that they may sort of lust after later in life to actually exhibit themselves and, and put themselves on display and be proud of who they are. So as a part of the Waterlines project, we coordinated uh, two community walks around Wurrabinda. Today is our first event. I'm just installing one of the works on the trees here. This is my um, digital drawing printed onto linen and it's a series drawn into photographs of the Adelaide Hills and it's a series of endemic um, and threatened animals and birds from the region. Wait. Just to find a stone around the ground that you like and just put it in your hand and we'll do a water ceremony before we move off. So just pick up a stone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. put your stones in there. Yeah. This was allowing our DNA to transfer into the waterways and that the ancestors there would know whose family we're related to and would be safe from being pulled in to keep company to the ancestors that are in the bottom of the water holes and the waterfalls and treacherous places because they knew who we were. The tours have just been booked out. As soon as they got in line, they're all booked out. The involvement of community um, displays also what it's all about. You know, it's about community and a community coming here and being involved, wanting to learn. This is what the whole project is about, involving men, women and children and learning from early ages and being part of the normal. It's got to be part of the normal lifestyle. It's got to be part of who we are as Australians, that we understand um, how we look after the environment, understand how Aboriginal people looked after them. I never heard the word Paramac when I was in school and I can't believe it and I think it's really rich, it's a rich opportunity and experience for the students to have. To have that knowledge from Uncle Ivan especially and to have that connection to land to hopefully have another generation understand that and and embrace that is really important. Overwhelming response, overwhelming response to something that everyone's interested in. Some, you know, it's just part of who we are. You know, this is an amazing country with an amazing environment at our fingertips, all over, you know, 20 minutes out of the city. And look at you, you're surrounded by absolutely amazing environment. And without that knowledge, it won't stay that way.